to browse and shop on the iTunes Wi-Fi Music Store, just tap the iTunes button. Here you can check out the featured songs, a list of the top 10 songs and albums, search for a particular song or artist, or check the status of your downloads. You can find exactly what you're looking for with a quick search of the iTunes Wi-Fi Music Store. Tap the search button, then type an artist's name. Notice the autocomplete feature as you type. Select the artist you're looking for from the search results. To listen to a 30-second preview of a song, just tap it. To stop the playback, just tap here. When you find something you like, tap here, then tap Buy Now to download. Remember, any music purchased from the iTunes Wi-Fi Music Store will be uploaded to your computer next time you sync. The stereo headset that comes with iPhone features a microphone with an integrated button that allows you to answer and end calls easily. It can also be used to control audio and video playback. While using the iPod features, for example, a single click pauses or resumes playback and a double click advances one track in a playlist. If a call comes in while you're listening to music, a single click on the headphone button will answer the call and fade the music. When you're done with the call, click once more to hang up. The music will fade back in right where you left off. There are two great ways to enjoy photos on iPhone. The first is to capture snapshots with the built-in camera, and the second is to sync your favorite photos from your computer so you have them with you wherever you go. To see photos on iPhone, start by tapping Photos. Here you see all of your photo albums, as well as the pictures you've taken with the camera. Let's take a look at a set of pictures from a recent vacation. Tap on any thumbnail to see the picture full screen. Then flick left or right to scroll to the next image. When you come to a picture that's in landscape, simply rotate iPhone and the image fills up the display. To see all the detail in this image, you can zoom in by pinching out and move the image around by dragging. Zooming back out is just a double tap away. You can see all of the pictures you've taken with your iPhone by looking in the camera roll. Here is a great picture of my friend Chris. To make it his picture in my address book so it appears every time he calls, I simply tap this icon. From here I can choose to use it as my wallpaper, email it, or assign it to a contact. I'll select Chris's name from my address book, tap Set Photo, and I'm done. iPhone delivers the real internet with the best email, web browsing, search, and maps applications ever on a mobile phone. Using the Safari web browser, iPhone renders web pages just as they'd look on your computer. And using built-in Wi-Fi and 3G cellular technologies, iPhone will download and display these pages fast. From the home screen, tap here to launch the Safari web browser. You can use bookmarks to easily navigate to your favorite websites. And you can sync your bookmarks from your PC or Mac. To surf to a website using your bookmarks, tap here, then tap on the name of the website. I can scroll through the entire web page from top to bottom just by flicking and dragging. To zoom in, simply double tap. Safari enlarges the section you've chosen and fits it to the screen. To pan around, just drag. And to zoom back out, just double tap again. Searching the web on iPhone is easy. To begin a web search, tap here. Type in a word or phrase. Let's look for a travel guide. Then tap Google. Google's preset is the default search on iPhone, but you can easily set Yahoo Search as well. You can view a web page in either portrait or landscape mode. Simply rotate iPhone 90 degrees, and the web page rotates too. To open an additional web page, tap here. Then tap New Page. Tap in the address field to bring up the keyboard and enter a web address. Notice the .com button on the keyboard. Then tap Go.
Email on iPhone looks great. It supports the most popular email systems, including Yahoo Mail, Google's Gmail, AOL, or most any industry standard IMAP or POP mail system. And now we've added push email for Microsoft Exchange and Apple's MobileMe service. iPhone supports rich HTML email, so images and photos display in line with the text. iPhone also lets you view many attachments such as PDF, JPEG, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files, and works great with Apple's iWork. All this and more makes email on iPhone the best ever on a mobile device. To launch email, tap the mail button. This is my inbox. The blue dots let me know which emails have not been read. I can quickly scan my inbox for unread messages and return to the top by tapping the status bar. Tap on an email to read it. This email has two image attachments that I can see right in line with the email message. Tapping and holding an image lets me save it to my photo library. Tap Inbox to go back to your inbox. Keeping your inbox organized is easy. You can delete a message by swiping to the right across an email, then tap the Delete button. To delete multiple email messages, just tap Edit, then tap the circle to the left of each message you want to delete, then tap Delete. Moving messages into another mail folder is just as easy. Tap Edit, then tap the circle to the left of each message, tap Move, and then tap the folder you want them to go into. Let's look at another email message. This email has a PDF and a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation attached. To view the attachments, I simply tap on them. I can pinch to zoom in and drag to pan around. I'll tap Message to go back, then tap on the Microsoft PowerPoint file. If I want to view the attachment in the landscape, I simply rotate iPhone. I can reply to or forward this message by tapping here. Or I can write a new email message by tapping the Compose button. In the To field, you can tap the plus button to select someone from your address book, or you can just start typing the person's name or email address. You can speed things up by picking their name from the list of matches in your address book. Many iPhone applications are integrated with one another. For example, tapping on a web address in an email launches that website in Safari, and tapping on a phone number calls that number. iPhone is the most advanced keyboard of any mobile phone today, and all of this advanced technology makes typing both accurate and easy iPhone constantly analyzes your keystrokes to suggest words as you type, and it uses an entire dictionary and learns the words you type most often, including proper names and everything in your address book. While the tiny physical keys stay fixed in one place on other mobile handsets, iPhone adapts its keys and layouts for different applications. With iPhone, you get exactly the right keyboard for the task at hand. Another thing you'll notice is that it only appears when you need it giving you even more room for viewing web pages, emails, maps, or even watching a movie. This is iPhone's standard keyboard, one key for each letter of the alphabet. You can access numbers and common punctuation and symbols by tapping here. When you begin typing on iPhone, it's best to start with just one index finger. At first, be very deliberate with your finger taps. Pay particular attention to the confirmation pop-ups and where your finger touches the screen. If you make a mistake while typing, this is the backspace button. If you want to reposition your cursor to insert a word, you can use the magnifying glass by touching and dragging it to the right position. If you double tap the space bar at the end of a sentence, the keyboard intelligently inserts a period and a space that automatically sets the uppercase button so you're ready to begin the next sentence. As you type, iPhone tracks and compares what you're typing to its built-in dictionary. It constantly looks for words 